Earth hits a horseshoe solar storm that has given us a double header when it comes to Aurora. And region 2403, remember that bad boy? That was the region that gave us all those M flares about a month ago. Well, that region is about to return into view. Those stories and more in the news this week. Hi, I'm Tamitha Scove. The sun has been extremely active this week, not so much in terms of flares, but definitely in terms of filament eruptions. In fact, Earth is in a huge solar storm right now due to the set of filament eruptions that occurred right here. You can see the first part of this horseshoe kind of thing lifting off right there. That happened on the 4th, and then the other half lifted off on the 5th, and we, so we had this kind of horseshoe configuration coming at us, and it has just been slamming us over the past couple days. On top of that, we had a, another filament eruption lift off from the northwest, and that ought to be hitting or grazing Earth right around the 11th, not expecting too much, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Switching to our M-flare threat meter, you can see the last big flares that we had were clear back at the end of August. Since then, things have continued to decline. We had a little pop on the 3rd, but other than that, things have gotten really quiet. Uh, outside of the solar storm that we've been having, the radio propagation's actually been pretty bad because the flux level's been pretty low. Switching to our solar storm conditions, you can see back on the 29th we had a little bit of activity, but that died down quickly. And then we had this set of solar storms, this horseshoe configuration that was launched back on the 4th. It hit us starting around the 7th. You can see we actually got to moderate storming levels, and that hit us first part, and then the second part hit us again, and that is still continuing uh, as I speak right now. And so if you're an amateur radio operator or a GPS operator and you wonder why you've been having trouble with the bands or trying to get lock on satellites, this is the reason why. And during the solar storm, we have gotten aurora pictures flooding in from absolutely everywhere, both aurora in the north and aurora in the south. It's just been stunning. You can see here's a quick picture from Scott Kelly on the ISS. The aurora has just been absolutely magnificent, and I will have a much bigger report of the aurora and get some highlights later in the week. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are still in the middle of this huge solar storm, this double header that's been hitting us. NOAA is giving us about a 30% chance for major storm at high latitudes. At mid latitudes, we're only expecting about a 25% chance of active conditions, but I tell you, aurora photographers who are down in mid latitudes can tell you differently. The aurora has been spectacular. The disturbances have been pretty monumental. But we are expecting that to die down. As a matter of fact, some of the solar wind right now is showing an indication that we may be popping out of that storm as we speak. So things should die down and then we might get another bump up around the 11th from that grazing solar storm that's moving off to the west of us, but probably not expecting too much of a disturbance. Although the Earth is pretty unsettled right now, so it doesn't take much to whip it right back into storm conditions. Nevertheless, the aurora, the aurora should be dying down and the amateur radio band should be kind of beginning to come back here over the next day or so. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook for the coming week, you can see for the first part of the week we are still in the green. Everything is pretty quiet, but then region 2403 begins to peak around the horizon there on the east limb, and you can see the latter part of the week we are expecting to increase the M flare risk. Don't know how stormy uh, 2403 is from the backside images, it looks like it's still pretty active in terms of being a flare producer. As far as radiation storms are concerned, we are still all in the green. We won't see that, uh, we won't be able to know more until 2403 comes into view. So this week is already crazy busy. We are in the middle of this huge horseshoe solar storm that has been dogging us for days. Things should begin to calm down though. Starting around now, uh, we might get a little bit of a disturbance for the next day or so, but things should be getting better and hopefully it'll be nice and quiet by the weekend for the weekend contesting for all you amateur radio operators. Also for all you GPS and drone flyers out there, you should be able to enjoy the weekend as well without worrying too much about your GPS lock. As far as the Aurora photographers are concerned, you guys earn a very big rest this weekend. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.